Are you better prepared in life because you have a sibling? That's what this video is about today. Stick around. I am an only child and my wife has a brother that's older than her. And my dad always said we were going to have two kids. My parents were going to have two kids, but they just decided to have one big one. And that's me. So, you know, that aside, I don't know the bond between a brother, a sister, sisters and sisters, you know, the whole sibling thing. I, I'll never know that because I'm an only child. However, I understand that siblings have a special bond. Even though I'll never know it or understand it, I respect it. Um, and I'm not talking about being better prepared in life like you have more food storage, water storage. Obviously, having a sibling has nothing to do with that. Unless your sibling is a prepper. And that is another kind of discussion that I wanted to bring into this video is because it just interests me that a lot of brothers, sisters uh, out there uh, are totally night and day in personality. I mean, I have friends that are identical twins and they are night and day from personalities but look identical. Uh, really have nothing in common. No, not nothing. Uh, they're siblings, but as far as their personal interest uh, are concerned. And um, I, this whole video has been prompted the actual part of this video that the beef of the video is my wife wants to have another child <laughs> okay I'm going to be 41 years old here in a few weeks and my wife is younger than I am four, four years younger than I am and uh, actually she's having her birthday coming up next week but anyway she's no spring chicken by any means by starting to have children and we started late anyway my my uh, my kids only uh, my son's a little over a year and a half he'll be two uh, coming up here in the spring and a lot of my friends had children in their early 20s and have gone through all of the stuff that I'm going through now when they had a lot more energy and they were younger Anyway, that's the real beef of this video is my wife wants to have another child. But some of the discussions that we were having was she feels like she has that special bond with her brother. Now, her brother's only a year or two different than her. Um, so really what it boiled down to is being prepared on, in her mind in that... Uh, if they uh, ever lose their parents. She feels like that, having uh, a sibling at that point by losing their parents because they share that bond, um, that she would get through that better knowing she has a sibling. And I think that's really the only example that I could think of really death in the family or having a sibling that you share that bond. You share that special bond because they're both your parents, obviously. So, it's curious to me, I got to thinking about prepping and siblings. So, for, the, for those of you out there that have siblings, first of all, do your siblings prep? Because you were raised in the same type of environment, obviously, uh, or, or maybe you weren't, but I'm talking about the folks that were raised in the same household, the siblings. You guys have the same principles, same values that you were brought up with. Now they may have changed as they got as you have gotten older. You know, but politically are your siblings the same? Uh, do you guys think in the same wavelengths as politics? Uh, and it would be interesting to me to see if there are preppers out there that their siblings prep as well. Do they prep with you? A lot of siblings don't live in the same state. That's the instance that my wife is in. Uh, her brother lives in a different state. And I think that that uh, lends a different relationship as well when you're out of state. You only see each other certain times of the year, holidays, whatever. Um, but I guess what I'm trying to say here is, even though I don't have siblings, I think 
people that are only childs that doesn't sound right people that are an only child <clears throat> um, view relationships differently than people that have siblings friendships um, I have had I have at least 10 to 12 friends that I see on a pretty regular basis um, that I have known since kindergarten uh, I have a couple friends that I've known this since I was in diapers so you're talking about 40 year relationships uh, where their mother has changed my diaper and my mother has changed their diaper um, and I still talk to these folks now that's my wife says that that's a different that's not normal. That's not normal for people to have those types of relationships because a lot of people move and blah, 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 blah. And just so happens I've been in Maryland most of my life and most of my friends have too. And we've retained that friendship. And I feel like I could call many of these guys uh, and be like, man, I got to dig an eight foot deep hole by, you know, eight foot wide in my backyard. And they would be here tomorrow with a shovel. Um, it's just the way I view friendships. And I would do it for them. Um, I have cousins that I would view as brothers. Um, you know, the I have probably 50 plus cousins. Uh, many cousins, I could be sitting across from the bar drinking a beer and wouldn't even know they were my cousin because I'm not close to a lot of my family but some of the family uh, I'm really close with so it's just interesting to me that uh, people with siblings I think and, and I'm not knocking people with siblings by any means uh, and I'm not jealous of it I, I don't I don't have a problem being an only child I know everybody's like oh you're selfish and you're greedy and you get everything that you want it wasn't that way for me uh, so much. I mean, it's not like I'd, uh, uh, you know, struggled or anything, but you, I was taught that you can't have everything in life that you want. And if you want things, you have to work for them. Um, and I'm not saying that people with siblings didn't have to work for it. Uh, man, this video is not going the way that I wanted it to go. But anyway, I guess I'm, what I'm saying is people that have siblings do you feel you are better prepared in life whether it's a death in the family you feel like that that's that one person that you know blood's thicker than water right that one person that you can always count on in life is a sibling or siblings um, or would you count on a best friend or maybe a cousin, or your spouse, would you count on that person more than a sibling? Um, and I guess like in an SHTF situation, um, do you have a plan to get a hold of your siblings? Um, not just your siblings, your parents, and extended family, you know, not just your wife and kids. And if those people are out of state, how do you plan on getting a hold of them? So, I, I hope that I've made my point in this video. Uh, I've had a lot to say about it, but I'm curious to know out there if you have siblings, are they preppers? Do they have the same political views? Are they similar to you or are they totally opposite of you? Do they think you're crazy for prepping? Um, or, um, and do you feel that you are better prepared emotionally um, in life because you have a sibling. Me, I'll never know, but I know I have people that I can count on. So, with that, as always, if you're not into preparedness, you're preparing to fail. I appreciate you watching. Thanks. Mm -hmm.